Yes, I'm 22 years old. It's just a weird age, right? Because I'm like a brand new adult. I have to do so many new things now without my mom. Like, I had to go to the doctor for the first time alone, and I failed miserably. Right? I walked in, I looked at the lady at the front desk, I was like, how you doing? I'm Tom. She's like, okay. She's like, I'm here to get looked at. She's like, you go check in at the iPad. She's like, all right, thanks. So I go over to the iPad. I put in my personal information. Everything checks out. Dude, then I get to like allergies, surgeries I've had. I'm like, yo, I don't know anything about me. So I was like, look, let me go back up to her and be like, look, miss, I'm new here. I tried the iPad, it's not gonna happen. Can you help me out? She goes, yes, I can help you. Thank you. Who is your primary care physician? <laughs> My mom? Like, <laughs> I have no idea. And then you ever say something so stupid? Like as soon as my mom left my mouth, I wanted to like grab it out of the air. So I felt like I had to justify myself. I was like, let me explain. It's like, I used to go to a pediatrician. She's like, yes, as most young kids do. I was like, but again, I just turned 21, so I had to go get an adult doctor because I'm like expired at the pediatrician. <laughs> That's why I don't know who my primary care physician is. She goes, it's fine. What was your pediatrician's name? And with confidence, I looked this woman dead in the eye and I went, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Now she's kind of looking at me like, how many teachers did you have in your classroom growing up? You know? It's like, it's like a real distinct look at this point. She goes, you know what? It's fine. We can still make this work. It's probably on your health insurance card. Do you have it on? It's like, no. And she was like, just give me the name of your provider. I was like, yo, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. But I was like, wait, hold on one second, I do have it, it's in my car. So I'm like, yo, thank God I got pulled over last week. I never even would have known this thing was in here. <laughs> run outside, open up the glove box, run back in the office, smack on the table, I go, Liberty Mutual. <laughs> Man, my mom told me I'm fully covered. This is my insurance. This is the all-inclusive. She's like, that's not how that works. So she's like, who do you usually come here with? I was like, my mom. Why don't you call her? No. Because I was talking a big game before I left. Like, she wanted to be here, but I told her. I was like, mom, listen to me. I'm a grown man now, I can handle this. Right? Because the way it used to work is I would just show up with an illness, okay? My mom would do all the paperwork, and then it was my job to just rehearse what we practiced in the car. Right? Like, she'd sit me down and she'd be like, listen to me. We're not leaving here without an antibiotic. <laughs> So when you get in there, you better cough and sell it like you mean <laughs> She'd be like, now cough. I'd be like, <clears throat> she'd be like, louder! Come on, I want to hear it in your chest, we're getting medicine. <laughs> so, so now, I'm at like a standstill with this lady, right? She's like, you need to call your mom. I was like, well, I'm not calling her. She's like, 
well, then there's really nothing I can do for you. And I was like, all right. She's like, you're going to have to pay for this out of pocket. I was like, that's fine. How much is it? She goes, it's 120 bucks. I'm like, okay, I'll call my mom. <laughs> so I call my mom. And as soon as this woman picks up the phone, she goes, mm-hmm, I knew it. <laughs> I knew you'd call. I was like, Mom, please, I just need to know who our health insurance provider is. She goes, I'm in the parking lot. I'll be in in a minute. <laughs>